Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on the smart JSON substitution feature that is available on AppSmith on API calls. So right here I have a simple API and uh, if I go to the settings, you can see that we have smart JSON substitution turned on. It's a feature that is designed with the intention to prevent developers from shooting themselves on the foot because sometimes you would want to send up data to an API and want it to appear a certain way. So I'm just going to show you an example real quick. So right here on the page, I have an input and I'm just going to type in a number, for example, seven in the input and that input is actually used in the body of this API as you can see here. So we have a text value and you can see that we have the number seven um, shown up. But this is actually a string and not a number and in some cases, this is not what you want. You actually want to send a number up to the API call. Uh, but since we have this smart JSON substitution feature turned on, if I click on the run uh, for this API call, you can see that what actually gets sent up is a number, not a string. So it has been able to intelligently convert the data type of this particular field to number because it knows that it's actually a number you want to send up. So this is a smart JSON substitution feature. But in some cases, you may actually want to send up a string seven and not in number seven. So in order to do that, just head back, uh, turn off smart JSON substitution, and you can go run uh, the query one more time or the API call one more time. And you can see that we have a string seven and not in number seven. So that's what you have here. That's the smart JSON substitution feature. I hope you find this helpful. And uh, I hope this also helps you debug in certain cases when you have data sent to the API in such a way you do not expect it to. So you know about it now. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.